Hey, you don't hear? Okay, so I'm uh, messing with my microphones today. This is one of my SM57s. I normally use my SM58, and it's really still up there. I didn't even take it down. It's hooked. Uh, it's on a boom stand, and it's hooked. It's folded up and hooked to my rack up there. I went ahead and turned it off. You, well, you can barely see my mixer here. I've got a what do I have? <coughs> six channel mixer, Behringer 802 mixer. <coughs> and so I've got two real mic channels with, uh, you know, gain and everything. And then there's uh, one, that's one and two. And then uh, three and four is the stereo channel. Five and six is the stereo channel. And you can kind of get another channel or so out of it by, well, by using the, uh, RCA and that's two more channels technically you know the RCA uh, tape input uh, you can use it well you can use it much the same way as these three and four and five and six except for there's no EQs on them or anything there's no gains on the uh, it's not like a not it's not like a normal board you don't have gains on the uh, on these uh, stereo channels or at least well normal to me I mix them throughout the night mostly the 90s from well Started in around '83, and then I did it. Uh, I did, uh, and then I started doing bands in '9 and '91 or something like that. Through up up to about '99 or something '99. So, so anyway, um, I uh, I have some mics. This these mics that I have, I had uh, these mics that I have now. Uh, I actually inherited from my from my friend's dad. Uh, my friend didn't know what to do with them. He gave them to me. I have two, the ones I got from there are the Shure SM58, 257s, this right here in my hand is a Shure uh, SM, let's go to the desktop, it is a model 50, 579SB, Vocal Sphere is what it's called, and it doesn't work, and so I got it back out, I tried it a few times over the years and I never have seen it work. I got it back out. I'm usually I, I usually use my mic stand. My arm's already tired of sitting there holding this mic up. But I was just wanting to hurry up and do this. Plus, I was going to swap mics out and test them. But uh, I guess I should have got the 58 down and used it to talk on. Um, <coughs> the uh, I think I should do that. Okay. Well, let's finish talking about this first. So this. Uh, I found the PDF uh, manual for it, and uh, I have the papers and I have, I have all that stuff. But uh, anyway, it's pretty much the same as a. Now I can't remember. Yeah, same as a 58 uh, frequency wise, 50, 50 to 14,000 uh, hertz. And uh, I think yeah, 57s go down to 40, I think, and 50 and 57, 58s go down to 50 hertz. And um, Found an interesting thing in the little manual is telling you phasing is telling you how to check if your mics are in phase, and uh, I, I remember you know running, mostly when we ran into problems with phasing was two things one uh, speaker cables uh, plugged in wrong or wired wrong uh, plugged in out of phase and then uh, if you did have a problem with a mic cable it was usually because it had been actually wired to use for lighting. And lighting needs to be wired the opposite of the mic cable. So if you grab one of those, then you'll be out of phase. And you can really tell because the sound is r crappy and uh, uh, you lose a lot of volume. So you usually can kind of, and there's certain little things you can hear, especially like when your speakers are out of phase, you can hear it. Uh, you'll hear little telltale sounds in, in the audio. You know, kind of you know it, right, know it right away once you've heard it enough times. And, um, so anyway, it tells you, uh, I, I never had done this before, it tells you, uh, I'm not going to try to read it out, but it tells you to hold up two mics and uh, talking to both of them, and uh, I've already forgot what it says, uh, test two microphones and or cables, so maybe you've got two mics you know are good and you're testing your cables, or you, you're testing your, you know your cables are good and you're testing your mics, either way, you just need to know something when you get started there. For proper phasing, connect them to an amplifier and talk uh, or sing into them while holding them three or four inches apart. So you'd be just doing them like this, you know. And uh, I've done that just to just messing with them, but I'm you know testing and stuff. I'm to see which one sounds better or whatever. Uh, 
I didn't, didn't know that you could do that to test phaser. Uh, sound from the speakers should be the same when talking into either microphone or directly between them if they are in phase with each other. If the sound drops out drastically or if there's a dead spot is found when talking between the two microphones, one of them or the cable, low impedance only, not talking about high impedance cables, is out of phase. All cables and microphones should be tested in this manner to ensure that they are in phase with each other. Uh, and I used to have a, t I have a tester, but it, br it quit working. But I had a tester that was a phase tester and cable tester and everything else. I used to use that. Uh, to change phase of low impedance microphone cable, either use the Shure A15 PRS phase reverser or, inter uh, what? or interchange the wires connected to pins 2 and 3 uh, of the connector. To change the phase of the microphone, uh, the microphone cartridge leads must be uh, interchanged. So they need to be having to, uh, eh, you might be able to do it. This is the cartridge, so that would be mean unscrew the head here. And Well, you can't see what I'm doing. Unscrew the head and, and, do, and do your solder and your wire, you know, desolder and resolder in the right order to the microphone cartridge. That's what they're saying. I imagine you could achieve the same thing by taking the, the female plug or the male plug out, out of the bottom and resoldering it. I guess that, whichever way is easier, I guess. <coughs> You're just swapping wires to pin, you know, to different pins on the connections. See figure two. This should be performed by your dealer, sure factory service department, or qualified service personnel. Okay, I guess that would have been me because I did plenty of cable soldering and, and, and the <laughs> emergency cable soldering at concerts. <coughs> Okay, so uh, and where's that drawing at? Must be it. Let's see what figure. Um, figure two. Yeah, up here. Figure two. I am on desktop now. Yeah, that's all I'm on. Okay, desktop. Figure two, and here's your here's your. Uh, Pinouts diagram. Okay, it's pretty cool. They give you, uh, you know, uh, they give you all that on there. All the sure mics, all the all the main little manuals uh, give you all that information. So um, I'm not going to go through all that. I can't see it that good anyway. So, um, so that's something if you you know if you didn't already know it. Uh, let's see, Let's continue. If you didn't already know it, you can do that. And um, I mean it's. I, I don't know uh, that that's on the, 50, you know, the manuals for the 57 or 58s. I've read them a lot, several times before. And I don't, I don't know, maybe I just didn't pay attention or forgot. But I've never seen those instructions about checking and, and, and configuring the phasing of your mics. Or cables, cables, mics or cables. I dealt with the cables all the time. I never, I don't, and the only way I can imagine your mic being out of phase is if it was a, uh, some sort of mistake in like if it's a sure mic, it was a mistake in the manufacturing, which could happen these days. You know how things are. They're not made in America anymore. That mic is made in America. This is an actual made in America sure mic. Oh, and so is the one I'm talking on. These are old enough that they're oh wait a minute, they're not all. All those all the mics I have aren't made in America mics. But uh, that one is. So anyway, um I had my stuff out. I've been testing batteries today. I've got my multimeter out here. And uh just thinking what what I need to do. I think I will go ahead and just stop this little it's just a test video anyway. I said it's in uh so my fifty seven works and since I've been yeah, since I've been talking so much about this um, microphone here in this video and the whole point was to of course I already did it a while ago, it doesn't do anything. So um well, and I guess there's really no point in plugging it in and showing, oh, yeah, it doesn't do anything. I was thinking about screwing the head off and fiddling with it, so but I can't do that and hold a mic at the same time. So uh, I just didn't want to drag down the mic, the SM58, but that's not really hard to do. So I think I will do that. I'm going to uh, stop this video, and then I'll start another one. I'm not live streaming because uh, I didn't know if I even wanted it up on the YouTube or not, on the Internet. So... Uh, really just a test video but it's quick it's an easy way to do it just use OBS on the computer and I can see the 
I can see my audio string, you know, my audio right here in my window. So I can see where my signals are and I have my, my headset hooked up. I can listen to it. See, that's how I got it all set. The mic set was using my headset. So uh, that should sound reasonably good. Uh, these are, um, well, they're not, I'm going to say they're more sensitive, but they're not more sensitive. These 57s, they're, uh, they are to touch. If you, if you touch that, it really loud. So I might not touch the head at all, but, uh, but really I had to gain it. I don't know if that'll, I have it on like a quarter gain and I have the, uh, I have the, I, ha I usually used to keep the fader at unity and gain on a quarter, quarter up, quarter from zero or quarter from nothing, quarter from zero gain. And on this channel too, where I have the 57, I ended up, I was also listening, you know, I was listening while I was doing it and I need to do that anyway on my, uh, my compressor when if I if I drive my uh, B amp with the compressor and, and the noise gate and everything too hard it will make noise so uh, uh, but anyway the gain um, got it on what do I have it on I've got it on basically what would be unity uh, you don't I don't think you don't I don't remember that you call it unity on the gain there's actually numbers on there yeah minus 10 to plus 40 so it's in the middle, and then my uh, level, my my channel level is about a third of the way from nothing. Okay, so uh, since it's a test, that's the kind of things I'm trying to record here. So, all right, I'm gonna stop and get my 58 down, and then I'll start again. 